Hello everyone. Uh, this is a Jeon Projong. Uh, this course is an introduction to computer networks. Today uh, we'll uh, study chapter 3, uh, Transport Layer, part 1. Transport Layer Overview, uh, our goal uh, is to understand the principles behind transport layer services, multiplexing, demultiplexing, and reliable data transport, pro control, and the conjunction control. Okay. And then uh, you can uh, learn about the Internet Transport Layer Protocol, UDP, TCP. UDP is a datagram protocol, okay? User datagram, specified the RPC. 768 you can click this link you can get the RPC of UDP and the uh, um, TCP okay TCP uh, is a transmission control uh, protocol okay uh, connection oriented reliable uh, transport and uh, conjunction control specified by RPC 9293 you can click this link okay Uh, firstly, uh, we uh, see the transport uh, services and the protocol, okay? So, right hand side, we can see the figure, so the network here, okay? So, the mobile phone uh, access some video clip like uh, the Netflix, okay? So, the transport layer point of view, this, the mobile phone and uh, this uh, Netflix server uh, logically end-to-end -end, okay connection one and half okay but uh, actual network uh, lay point of view multi hub network okay uh, links are connected so logical uh, the communication for uh, transport layer point of view and transport to protocol actions in and the system sender um send the uh, uh, application messages into multiple segments and then uh, each segment encapsulated into IP datagram and receiver just receives uh, multiple segment and the assemble and and then uh, merge and then uh, deliver that uh, merged the messages to application layer applications okay so two uh, major transport protocols are explained uh, this class, TCP and UDP. So we have an analogy. You can see uh, one old, okay, lady, old uh, woman, uh, takes care of a lot of uh, children. So this boot is a house for all the children. So the house is specified by some home address, and then each children a uh, specified name okay so uh, host case a uh, house addressed by home address and then uh, process keys uh, specified by the the keys name we can say uh, house is IP address the keys are uh, port number and then each uh, application message uh, we can think the letters in envelopes okay so um, the network layer is a logical communication between uh, two hosts and transport layer is a logical communication between two processes processes uh, that uh, mean a learning um, program okay so uh, you can see the transport layer action here so Sender transmit the message and then attach it. transport layer header. Okay, and then segment. Okay, if uh, the message is uh, large, make multiple uh, messages and then attach application layer uh, here, uh, network layer header. Okay, and then transmit here and then receive. Okay, 
and then uh, receiver side receive IP detach uh, transfer layer header TCP header for example and then uh, extract the application layer message and then the multiplex message forward appropriate application via socket so uh, two principal internet uh, transport the protocols okay so TCP and UDP okay so TCP uh, provides uh, uh, reliable in order delivery and the conjunction controller pro control uh, are provided also connection setup uh, is uh, prerequisite for interaction between two logical endpoint on the other hand the UDP case user diagram protocol unreliable on order the delivery and no special extension for best effort IP just the best effort uh, delivery okay uh, basically TCP segments and the UDP diagrams are delivered the, the same IP unreliable network protocol but TCP case uh, using um, sequence number okay and then buffering and then it can provide the in order delivery and reliable also timer also used the services are uh, available so such as uh, delay guarantee bandwidth guarantee are not provided by current internet architecture so secondly are the multiplexing and the uh, multiplexing so the here client uh, http server and uh, here application right so application uh, web browser try to connect um, netflix web server okay apache server okay so message case is delivered okay so this is th is a transport layer header uh, hn is network layer header okay so each client that deliver okay the message so each um, the uh, client so http server um, they make uh, some thread and the handler so p client one is uh, solving this client one web browser netflix uh, p client two providing this the firefox this web browser okay provided and the multiplex and deep multiplexing okay so um, application p3 in this client one communicate with application p1 in the, this web server on the other hand uh, this p2 web servers okay thread communicate with this application uh, 4 in client 2 okay so multiplexing at sender handle the data from multiple socket at the terms of header okay and then deliver appropriate destination okay and then uh, demultiplexing at the uh, receiver uses a header info to deliver received uh, segment to uh, correct the socket okay so uh, how to demultiplexing uh, work so the ip data gram case uh, the source ip address destination ip address and uh, um, source port number and destination port number used especially uh, demultiplexing uh, is performed at receiver side so in that case destination IP address and destination port number are used okay deliver this segment to appropriate the socket associated uh, some destination application okay this uh, format is a TCP UDP um, the message okay or segment or diagram so important fields are source port number and destination port number each port number uh, is uh, the 16 bits two uh, ports are yeah 32 bits okay and other header field and the application payload so um, when uh, creating a socket I must specify a host local port number okay so this is uh, you can see um, uh, Java program okay and then you create something socket and then um, 
So when uh, creating um, the diagram to send into UDP socket, I must specify uh, destination IP address and then destination port number for UDP. Okay, diagram case. Okay, so when uh, receiving host uh, receives UDP diagram, check destination port number and also uh, direct UDP uh, segment to appropriate uh, socket number associate with uh, that port number. So IP U uh, UDP diagram uh, with the same destination port number, but a different uh, source IP addresses and source port number uh, is used to specify the senders, okay? So connection list a uh, multiplexing example here. So using this diagram socket, okay? This is uh, created another diagram socket. This is a server socket, okay, this one. And then I deliver source port and then it's an import and respond according to, this is uh, uh, the, you know, exchange it, okay? The, the swapped, okay? Similarly, okay? Okay, you can guess, okay? So um, connection oriented mul the multiplexing case, uh, TCP socket identified by four tuple such as uh, source uh, IP address and port number and destination IP address and port numbers, okay? And the uh, demultiplexing receiver uh, uses uh, all four values, okay? The server may uh, support um, uh, many uh, simultaneous uh, TCP sockets, okay? So usually accept, remember, create a new uh, client socket, okay? So each socket identified by its own for tuple. At that time, the accept the function case create a new socket and then corner uh, assign new uh, port number for the client socket. Each socket associated with a uh, different con uh, connecting client. Okay. So this example uh, shows uh, um, connection oriented demultiplexing here. Okay. So. Um, this client application and the Apache server application can communicate using this kind of portal number, okay? So similarly, they can communicate using the web case and the member uh, 80 is uh, used, okay? 80 web portal number is uh, used. Um, summary, uh, multiplexing, demultiplexing uh, based on segment datagram header fills um, values. Uh, for TCP and UDP respectively. And the UDP demultiplexing using destination port number only. On the other hand, TCP case demultiplexing using forty per source and destination IP addresses and the port numbers, okay? Multiplexing demultiplexing uh, happen at all layers. So next one is UDP. Uh, UDP specified uh, RPC 768, okay? This is uh, no fills, no decorations, no uh, some uh, fancy functions. It's a bare bones, basic okay, function based on IP protocol, okay? So best effort. So UDP um, uh, segment as a result may be uh, lost or delivered out of order to applications, okay? So it is called connection list. There is no uh, handle staking like TCP, okay? So each uh, UDP segment is handled independently of others. Uh, why is there UDP? Okay, so no connection is tabulous. Uh, so uh, we reduce uh, some connection uh, is tablet time is uh, omitted, okay? Just the simple, no state handled. Small size, header size, which means small overhead. No conjunction control, okay? So if UDP uh, is used, uh, some additional, uh, something uh, mechanism needed for this one, okay? But TCP, uh, TCP case, uh, the conjunction control um, is provided, but UDP is not. So um, UDP uh, support uh, many uh, application protocol, streaming uh, multimedia protocols, DNS, domain name service, simple name, uh, 
simple network management protocol SMPL and uh, HTTP3. So HTTP3 creates a quick protocol is new transport protocol over the UDP to support uh, HTTP version 3. So if reliable transfer needed over UDP like uh, HTTP 3, uh, add uh, needed uh, reliability at application layer, and also add the uh, conjunction control at application layer like a uh, quick. Okay, quick protocol will learn next. Uh, okay, class. Uh, UDP user diagram protocol specify RFC uh, seven six eight like this. So you can get uh, this RPC internet standard document okay so UDP uh, transport layer actions okay so U UDP sender action SM NMP message deliver UDP header created and then deliver okay IP layer so IP uh, uh, network is uh, root this message to destination SNMP client okay and the UDP uh, receiver action, and then detach the header, and then okay, payload application layer message forward lead to SMP application. Okay. So UDP segment header here, UDP uh, port number, destination port uh, port number, and the length checksum, 16-bit checksum to check a bit error. So we can uh, learn later on. So UDP payload here. Okay. So uh, length is invite UDP segment, including headers, okay? And this is uh, uh, payload, okay? Application layer data. So check some case, the basically uh, the goal is uh, detect uh, error, flip the bit in transmitted datagram or segment, okay? So the first number five, sixth number six, Okay, so this part, so UDP is a 16 bit once complement sum is used. Okay, the first 16 bits and the second 16 and the sum is this one, something like that. Okay, receive the case we can check. Okay, so but uh, you can see this is checksum. Okay, this is a checksum, actual sum, sum is different, right? Receive the computer checksum and this is a sender computer checksum, different. Right, so we can check bit error. So sender uh, create um, sixteen bits uh, integer from UDP had IP addresses, okay, and then section uh, addition ones complements, okay, sum, and then uh, the checksum value put into UDP checksum field, okay. So receiver case uh, compute the checksum of receive segment. Uh, if uh, compute the checksum equal checksum field value, okay. Equal case uh, no error. Not equal case uh, error detected. However, even though uh, equal case two bit are simultaneously uh, changed, it cannot detect. Okay, you can see it later on. So this is uh, okay two integer from header so we can sum so we can um, sum 0 1 is uh, okay is 1 1 0 1 and the 1 1 case carry 1 happened right and the 1 0 0 1 so using this kind of a binary sum consider carry so uh, generate this uh, uh, this MSB most significant bit this is going to lap around going back here so sum again, okay, and then uh, this is a one one zero one 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 actually. So this is one, and then other case the same, okay. This is actual the once complement sum, okay, and then check sum is uh, just a uh, toggle. The one is uh, zero, zero is one, just uh, toggle the okay this checksum. Checksum is also delivered to destination. Okay. And then um, so if two bit is uh, simultaneously changed one zero zero one updated in that case the checksum cannot detect because checksum calculation is the same. Okay. Zero one one zero. Okay. 
actually the value is actually the same so even though our uh, numbers have changed uh, like this bit flips two bit uh, flips right no change in checksum so cannot detect okay so and then uh, actually calculate the one the checksum field and then right so sum and then uh, checksum case is uh, toggled right so toggled and then previous one and checksum and compared okay so um, summary UDP no uh, fields protocol which means uh, just a simple protocol no decorated protocol functions and the segments may be uh, lost delivered out of order best effort the service uh, on top of IP send and hope for the best okay uh, however UDP has its pluses no setup handshake needed uh, this is uh, overhead is uh, uh, is less than TCP no RTT incurred UDP can function uh, when network service is uh, compromised and then finally UDP helps with uh, reliability checksum okay uh, build additional functionality on top of UDP in application layer for HTTP3 using a uh, quick quick is a new transport protocol it is used for Google Chrome's okay so principles of a library data transfer so the principles of a library data case so sender receiver case if a uh, library channel case okay there is no problem the LT so in reality we have uh, an library channel so while it's right some bit clip happen or packet loss happen right so in that case uh, this kind of library channel should be handled right Sender side library uh, transfer protocol, receiver side of library data, okay, transfer protocol handled, okay. So complexity of library transfer protocol will depend on uh, characteristics of uh, unreliable channel, loss or corruption or reordering of packet data, okay. So sender receiver do not know the state of each other. So in that case, uh, uh, was a message received well or not? unless communicate via message okay so there is a cotton right in that case uh, sender uh, doesn't know the state of uh, receiver side okay in that case uh, so we need some protocol okay library data transfer protocol is uh, required and the sender ascending process use call uh, rdt library data transfer send function and then uh, UDT is unreliable data transfer function is called and then this receiver side reliable data transfer uh, receive function and then um, deliver data from this packet and payload okay over frame payload so uh, I explained okay one by one okay so so the bi-directional communication over unreliable channel so data and the packet okay uh, reliable data transfer getting started uh, will incrementally develop a sender receiver side of library data transfer RDT consider only on unidirectional data transfer okay but uh, control information will flow in both directions like acknowledge or uh, negative acknowledge okay so we are using uh, the binary state machine FSM to specify sender and the receiver behavior. So you can uh, we can use in state machine event causing transition uh, state transition from state one to state two and actions taken on the state transition. So uh, we have a, a version uh, one up to uh, version three. So version RDT one case reliable transfer over reliable channel. So assumption is no bit error, no loss of packet on the lining channel, perfect okay channel. So in that case, very simple. So we have a separate uh, um, final state machine for sender and receiver. Okay, so sender just wait from uh, call above deliver data, 
okay and then if receive data here call this function and then make a packet and then you did the um, unrivaled data uh, transfer function call send is used and the receiver side wait for a call from below okay from the channel okay and then if receive the data extract the data and then store the data into uh, the payload into data this field and then deliver this data up to application okay layer okay the, this is very easy there is no handling of errors okay the rd2 so this one uh, is designed to handle channel with bit error so underlining channel may uh, flip a bit in packet so in that case the checksum can detect okay so internet checksum we study the udp the question is uh, how to uh, recover from error so how to human recover from error during conversation so in that case the uh, retransmission is uh, used right so if detect some error uh, acknowledge case no error negative case uh, the receive some packet has a problem okay so in that case recover the transmission is uh, requested okay by this uh, NAC okay so sender uh, it transmit packet on reception or receipt of a negative act NAC so this protocol called a uh, stop and wait sender send one packet and then wait for receiver response or receivers okay so we have a receiver a possibly as response okay So RDT uh, version two, the final state machine uh, specification. Okay, so the sender so wait for a uh, call above and then receive the data, and then you can see uh, data and the checksum make and then this packet including checksum right and then send using UDT send function, and then the wait in the transit right the wait for acknowledge or negative acknowledge neck so receive the packet and then acknowledge it is acknowledge case okay just the transit okay because deliver well and then if this is negative case receive the packet negative case it transmit here okay and that receiver case the corrupted if receive packet has corrupted in that case uh, negative acknowledge transmitted if um, no corruption case uh, extract data and then deliver data up la uh, layer like application layer and then the UDT send acknowledge delivered okay so uh, let's see the if the cotton here so state of receiver is uh, known to sender unless somehow communicated from receiver to sender that's why we need uh, our protocol okay so this is a uh, uh, neck and the act we can focus on right so okay so sender successful case let's just see okay so okay send and then send here so successful case no error so acknowledge and the general is delivered and then move to move back this state okay however the failure case the weight above receive the error and then deliver this is a corrupted negative act so in that case this one okay neck received so retransmit okay retransmit and then successfully received no corruption just uh, acknowledge and then state is moved to okay this state okay wait for call from above so rdt version 2 has fatal flow uh, what happen if acknowledge negative okay this control message is corrupted right so handling duplicate act so the sender retransmit the current packet if acknowledge negative okay corrupted so to uh, avoid this duplicated uh, reception by a receiver uh, we can uh, add a sequence number each packet okay so the stop and wait sender send one packet then wait for receiver's response okay so in that case we are adding the sequence number zero and then move to okay this state wait for act neck and then uh, receive no corruption acknowledge just uh, wait for uh, application but 
this time application data uh, associated with the sequence number one, previous to zero, right? And then this is, uh, okay, send. So make uh, the packet using sequence number one, and then, okay, receive the acknowledge, okay? And then move to this one. But if corrupted or negative at case, let's transmit uh, this packet, okay? Similarly, if the this previous one is a sequence number zero packet, this is a sequence one, case also corrupted or negative at case, let's transmit this packet one, sequence number. Uh, receiver handling uh, this uh, garbled some, you know, corrupted or some pro pro problematic uh, some act and max, okay? So um, the receiver, no corruption, and the sequence number um, zero case, extract, and then there is no problem, right? So just transit here. Similarly, if, okay, waiting for, okay, packet sequence number with one, from um, below channel, and then uh, there is no problem. Sequence number one case, extract data, and then acknowledge, and then move to this state, okay? However, some uh, list packet, corrupted packet case, neck, and then this neck says it delivered. And also, uh, no corrupted, but uh, some duplicate, duplicate some message. So one is actually wait, but zero is previously received, right? So in that case, the act, right? So this one case, um, duplicate act, okay? Because, uh, um, so uh, sequence number is zero, right? So acknowledge case uh, is handled, okay? So send uh, this one, okay? Similarly, um, if received uh, packet, no corrupted, so, but uh, sequence of one case, it is a receiver case uh, waiting for zero, but the uh, one is received. This one is a kind of redundant, okay, packet, right? So in that case, um, just, okay, acknowledge, okay? And then uh, send, okay? So in that case, okay, corruption here, and make a neck, okay? Because a negative deliver because the corrupted packet, the transmitted requested, okay? So um, RDT 2.1 case, um, so sequence number 01 is used, right? So must check if received the knowledge negative is corrupted, okay? Check. So twice uh, as many states, currently 01 is used, right? So receiver case must check if received packet is duplicate state indicates uh, whether zero or one is a expected packet sequence number. Uh, note receiver cannot know if its last uh, acknowledge or negative act is received okay well at sender. So receiver acts according to the received packet with the sequence number zero or one, okay? So this one, and uh, 2.2 case uh, neck free. So uh, we previously uh, negative egg is uh, used, okay? So um, we can, uh, instead of a negative egg, receiver acknowledge for last packet received, okay? So this is duplicate egg, okay? Receiver must explicitly including sequence number of packet being acknowledged. Previously, there is no a chronology case, no embedded embedding of sequence number. Now, this sequence number is used to uh, tell sender this is duplicate act, previous one is uh, lost, okay? So duplicate act at sender result in the same action as uh, negative act, the transmission, okay? So TCP uh, is using uh, neck free, which means uh, using uh, a chronology uh, with sequence number and make a duplicate act for uh, retransmission if needed. So this is a sender receiver um, fragment, okay? So send, and if this is, a, okay, wait for acknowledge zero, but acknowledge one case, okay, corrupted or acknowledge one case, uh, this is, a, um, 
egg, right? So in that case, UDT send message, okay? This is delivered, okay? Here, and if there is no uh, problem, no, uh, not corrupted, and uh, receive the packet, uh, the egg is uh, is a zero case okay so it transmit okay so uh, wait for acknowledge okay so zero acknowledge is uh, received well but uh, acknowledgement number is uh, not zero one case uh, a kind of duplicate act the transmit okay so receiver side previous uh, upper one is sender side receiver side so uh, this transition case uh, no problem case okay so expected uh, signal number is received and then move to uh, this wave for zero from and then uh, this track and then acknowledge is uh, okay delivered however um this guy receiver received and then wave for sequence number this one okay packet but uh, it received corrupted over packet number is this one case, okay? Uh, this is make the duplicate act, okay? Send the packet, okay? So the previous one is 2.2 and then 3.0 case uh, channels with uh, uh, errors and the loss, okay? New channel assumption uh, loss can happen, right? So in that case, retransmission should be Done, right so how do a uh, human handle lost sender to receiver words in conversation so in that case approach uh, sender wait reasonable amount of time with acknowledge uh, if there is a no uh, this bounded time generate okay the transmission so the transmission will be duplicate but sequence number we saw already can handle this uh, okay duplicate case uh, prevented using the sequence number receiver must specify sequence number packet being a canary okay make a uh, duplicate act okay request a lost packet so using this timer region number one time so sender one case uh, here so the transmit packet zero and then start timer and then receive the, the acknowledge well stop timer similarly the transmit uh, sequence number one and uh, start time and then uh, receive the well acknowledge the, this uh, sequence number one stop timer on the other hand if timeout happen so this guy uh, previous uh, this transmitted packet retransmitted and timer transmitted uh, generated however this one can corrupted the acknowledge is uh, like a duplicate act just ignore okay similarly here the received okay well received packet um, and then um, this one case of timeout okay happen and then transmit retransmit this okay and then timer okay and then um, received a uh, packet here okay and then um, this is corrupted or the acknowledge is zero not expected one in the ignore okay redundant the transmission this one case also um, just received right acknowledge just uh, ignore okay and then uh, so the action that take a look okay so sender receiver they uh, send the packet zero acknowledge zero okay the stop and wait right nope yeah lost, no problem but uh, here the packet one is lost okay so time out happen and the time uh, packet one delivered and then like the packet lost case can handle the right case okay so I did the three version case um, also a chronology lost case the previous one is a packet loss right a chronology lost case time out happen and then packet one is uh, retransmitted but duplicate act handle okay so in that case acknowledge one okay so packet one is 
so in that case just uh, uh, do not accept the data because duplicate data just uh, send acknowledge okay and uh, handle this uh, acknowledge loss and the sender and the receiver case the premature timeout delayed act okay so okay delivered and then uh, the packet one is delivered acknowledge one is uh, in pride okay but uh, time out happen return submit packet one okay and then duplicate okay and then uh, acknowledge one but this one eventually received okay and then acknowledge okay and then uh, the packet zero one okay and then uh, this one acknowledge zero but this one is uh, received acknowledge one but expect uh, expect uh, acknowledgement uh, zero right because transmit right so in that case uh, ignore and then this uh, acknowledge zero as well and then packet one is uh, delivered okay so ignore the, this uh, acknowledge one so some of weight case performance of uh, uh, rdt version 3.0 utilization is a fraction of uh, uh, time sender busy sending okay so example one gigabps uh, link uh, 50 uh, millisecond propagation delay, uh, 8,000 bit uh, packet, right? So in that case, the transmission time of packet in the channel case, the packet size divided by bandwidth, right? So this is 10 to the power of 9, 10 power 9 bits, this one. So 8 microsecond, microsecond, right? So, and then we can uh, deliver this packet, round three time here, okay? So this transmission time round trip time just okay how portion let's cal calculate okay so sender case round trip time the packet uh, l divided by r transmitted right and then this portion actual packet delivery is this one is utilization right very small portion so i did the three protocol performance uh, is uh, is not good stinks protocol limits performance of on the line infrastructure channel this is based of channel that's why rdt uh, 3.0 okay this uh, uh, pipeline protocol is provided so pipelining uh, sender uh, allows multiple implied yet to be acknowledged packet so range of uh, sequence number must be increased buffering at sender and the receiver so in the united states right they are deliver packet delivered and uh stop and wait case you know neutralization is not good so that you are multiple packet delivered using a sliding window uh based on pipeline protocol acknowledge simultaneously we can increase uh, neutralization okay so if we transmit the three packet consecutively and this time okay the first packet and the RTT eventually this time three packet received right so uh, RTT L this packet transmit time this time three uh, packet three L over all deliver so this one is uh, okay increases uh, three times neutralization okay point of view so three packet pipeline increases neutralization by factor of three three times increase so we have a go back and uh, sender and uh, you know selected repeat okay pipeline in protocol so uh, go back and case uh, sender uh, sender window of up to n okay packets consecutive transmitted but un un unacknowledged packets okay so k bit uh, sequence number okay in the packet header used okay so this is a, a sliding window okay so window side and packet can be delivered you know uh, send base is the oldest transmitted okay send not yet acknowledged uh, the blue one is uh, next uh, sequence number if upper layer giving some packet and then this packet uh, generated uh, delivered okay so this is uh, not usable the uh, green one is already acknowledged okay this is a, a sliding window so cumulative act is used acknowledge n is received means uh, acknowledge all packets up to n is received okay 
So in that case, move a uh, window forward. So if some acknowledge this one moving window is moving, the center base is moved to this one because uh, this one is acknowledged. Okay. So time out n case retransmit all n. The packet n is uh, if this is uh, okay time out. If this uh, center base is time out. For example, in that case, um, this packet and or higher other packet send not yet acknowledged packet transmitted again. Okay. So go back again. Uh, the receiver previously the sender right acknowledge only always send acknowledge for correctly received packet so far uh, with the highest in order sequence number. Uh, may uh, generate a duplicate X, okay? So in that case, but uh, need uh, only remember previous received one, like uh, the sender uh, base, right? So on uh, receipt of out of order packet, uh, discard or buffer up to implementation decision. Usually uh, the just discard. So re acknowledge packet with the highest in order packet, uh, received packets, okay? So like this. Uh, receiver base this is uh, already acknowledged uh, this one is okay not received this one is out of order received in that case uh, the buffering is uh, used but from now on uh, the explanation for the go back and uh, we uh, using this policy it is called okay out of packet case so Go back and in action, the sender sends the packet from one through uh, three packet because uh, the sender window size uh, n is equal to four. So pack, uh, four packets are transmitted. Uh, however, packet two uh, is lost in flight and the receiver just receive packet zero, send acknowledge uh, zero, packet one received, acknowledge one. The packet three received this card because uh, expected the, the acknowledge packet uh, is two, right? So just acknowledge the received and then I wait, okay? So the zero or one, the acknowledge case uh, sliding window is uh, moved to the uh, right, okay? Uh, however, the packet three discard just uh, send uh, duplicate act. Okay, indicate uh, packet uh, two is uh, lost. Okay, and then um, so uh, before uh, receiving this kind of uh, duplicate act, packet uh, four or five transmitted, and then ignore duplicate act. And uh, discard the packet four, five because packet two is not receivable yet. Okay, the packet two timeout happen and then from packet two, three, four, five retransmitted. Okay, and then acknowledge the two, three, four, five. This is uh, the action and behavior in go back end. From now on, uh, I will explain a uh, selective repeat. So selective repeat case receiver individually acknowledges rather than um, in the, the cumulative act uh, all collectively uh, receive the packet, okay, acknowledge. So uh, previously go back in case uh, uh, in the middle packet is uh, missed. In that case, uh, the highest recently received the packet acknowledged generate uh, duplicate act. So the packets are buffered, okay, for eventually in order delivery to upper layer, like application layer. Uh, sender times out, and then they transmit individually for an acknowledged packet, rather than the time out the packet and the next uh, transmitted packet. Sender maintains a timer for each unacknowledged packet. Sender window uh, and consecutive sequence numbers, okay, and packets are can be uh, delivered. Uh, limit the sequence number of a sent. 
an acknowledged packet. Uh, this figure shows a uh, sender view of a sequence number. Uh, this left most, this one is uh, transmitted, not yet acknowledged. This is a uh, sender base. And uh, the yellow one is uh, already acknowledged. Okay. Uh, next sequence number case, uh, waiting for uh, data from uh, upper layer. On the other hand, the B shows a receiver a view of uh, sequence numbers. So green one is already acknowledged, okay? And this one, uh, a gray one is expected to uh, receive, not yet uh, received, okay? And uh, this pinker uh, perf, the color is out of order just re received and buffered and uh, and blue one is uh, acceptable because uh, uh, they are within um, receiver window okay window size n so let's take a look uh, sender and receiver uh, behavior at uh, selective repeat the sender okay so data from above if next available sequence number this one, next uh, sequence number, window, uh, send the packet with this uh, sequence number, timeout n. So packet n, the transmitted, and also restart the timer. Acknowledge n in send base and the send base plus one, because this is uh, uh, window size n, window. In that case, acknowledge n packet received case mark packet n as received. If n smallest on on acknowledge the packet, advance window because uh, uh, this one is acknowledge case. We can slide window uh, move to the right because next one uh, can be uh, acknowledged. Okay. Also, uh, if this uh, is uh, uh, next uh, sequence number case, uh, waiting for upper layer to send the new data packet. Okay. Receiver case packet n in the receiver base receiver base uh, plus n minus one. Okay. This is uh, case. Okay. Uh, window size n so uh, acknowledge uh, packet n the out of order case the buffer the in the rece receiver um, the buffer and the in order case deliver also deliver buffer the in order packet together and advance window to next not yet receive the packet okay so not this one, okay. Um, if uh, this uh, receiver base size is uh, um, received, in that case, also uh, acknowledged case, uh, the window is moved to the uh, right, okay. And the packet N is. Uh, um, receive base minus n, uh, receive base uh, one. So, like this one, the previous minus one and the minus n size, right? So, this one case, um, acknowledge the packet is uh, received and the acknowledge. So, which means uh, the receivers acknowledge lost and then sender send a message again and then just acknowledge delivered okay so in that case acknowledge n is generated otherwise ignore so uh, this uh, figure shows the example selectable repeat in action the sender window size n is equal to four so four packets are 
transmitted one by one, packet zero through packet three. And packet two is uh, lost, okay, packet lost. And then zero, one, three, received and then buffer. This is uh, acknowledged, acknowledged, but uh, two is missed. Packet three is buffered, uh, send acknowledged three. So this one case generate uh, the trigger uh, slide window move to the uh, right and then so two three four five right so four and five can be transmitted and this one case uh, ec right so write this four and five transmitted and the acknowledge three so in the two is uh, acknowledged and then can move the, this uh, send base to the uh, right okay otherwise record x3 alive okay and then time to uh, packet to time out happen and then just uh, packet to retransmit because the uh, packet to associated with uh, this timer just the uh, packet two is uh, transmitted not uh, packet three four five and then packet two is received, uh, delivered, and then received, and then delivered two, three, four, five, and then send the acknowledge two. Uh, <coughs> however, uh, what happens when acknowledge two arrives? Okay, so in that case, already uh, this one is uh, send this one, and then it sliding window. This is moved to, and the packet uh, six can be delivered. Uh, however, uh, selected repeat uh, has a dilemma. Uh, example here, the sequence uh, number 0, 1, 2, 4 packets are right, numbers like this. And then uh, base 4 counting, window size is 3. So sequence number is 4, window size 3. And then, so, uh, there is uh, some problem uh, happens. So center window, the receiver window here. So sliding window here, two, uh, zero, one, two here. So we can transmit the packet zero, one, two sequentially. And then uh, receiver case, uh, slide window, uh, receive the packet and then move to the uh, right accordingly, right? Zero, one, two, right? And then three, Zero one uh, expected received right, and then uh, here packet uh, three is uh, transmitted, okay. But this is a uh, lost, and then uh, packet uh, zero transmitted, and then will accept the sequence number zero. So in that case, I think there is uh, no problem, okay, because packet zero, this packet zero, this packet zero, different one, right? So the this exception is fine not a duplicate uh, reception okay but the second case is a problem so packet uh, uh, according to this sliding window packet zero one two transmitted and then all three is acknowledgement uh, packet uh, lost and then a uh, time out happen they transmit the packet zero Okay, but here uh, receiver case uh, zero received and then move uh, slide window move to the right one to three can be accepted. Uh, one is uh, received two three zero received can be received and then packet two received and then sliding window receiver side three zero one can be uh, accept the packet. However, three uh, chronology are lost and then uh, timeout happen previous packet 0 1 2 will be retransmitted so packet 0 here so this packet 0 is uh, a previous one not new packet 0 right so in that case duplicate uh, reception is uh, happen here okay so sender cannot uh, see the state of uh, uh, the window over um, receiver window okay so uh, receiver behavior identical in both 
uh, cases here, but previous one gets no problem. Second case has uh, something wrong. Okay. Uh, the reason is uh, the window size and the sequence number here. So sequence number uh, and the window size has some relationship to prevent this um, case. Okay. So the what relationship is needed between sequence number size and window size to avoid uh, this problem scenario B. Okay. For example. Uh, sequence number size should be uh, greater than or equal to uh, a half of a window size, something like that. Okay, and then we can avoid this problem. If you have a question, uh, please uh, let me know. Thank you for uh, your attention.